hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm aris and you're watching possible now so guys today i'm going to guide you about how to fix monster hunter wilds uh, crashing uh, like uh, you face crash on startup crash to uh, pc freezing kind of issues so uh, watch the video till the end and if you are new on the channel kindly subscribe the channel like this video and share it with your friends and uh, without any waste of time let's start the video so guys the first step is to uh, simply restart your PC, simply restart your PC and after the restart you can launch the game and check if it's working or not. Uh, if it's still not working the next step is to delete the crash report.exe uh, in crash report.wg files. First create a backup go to the game installation folder, right click on the game, select manage and select on browse local files. This will take you to this game installation folder here select crash report.exe and uh, crash report.wg copy these files and create a backup by pasting them to the PC, to the desktop uh, once you have the backup go back to your game installation folder and delete these two files after uh, delete these files uh, then launch the game if you encounter any errors you can restore the backup by putting these files back in the installation folder many users have found this step helpful so give it a try the next step is to enable debug mode in the nvidia control panel if you have an nvidia graphics card then right click on the desktop click show more options and click on nvidia control panel in the control panel go to the help menu at the top and select debug mode after enabling debug mode launch the game and check if it's working or not if the game is still not working then allow the game executable file through your antivirus program uh, if you're using any third-party antivirus like Avast, uh, Norton and any other then add the game executable file to your antivirus whitelist for Windows security users uh, open Windows setting go to privacy and security or update and security click on windows security then virus and threat protection scroll to manage ransomware protection click on it and add an app to control folder access by browsing the game installation folder and selecting the game executable file in the control panel go to the system and security then windows defender firewall click allow an app to uh, or feature through windows defender firewall then change settings and add the game executable file through the browsing option once added try launching the game again another step is to run the game as an administrator option go to the game installation folder right click on the game uh, file select properties go to the compatibility mode check run this program as an administrator click apply click ok then launch the game again if it doesn't work try running the game in compatibility mode for windows 8 or uh, windows 7 check disable full screen optimizations in the compatibility tab if the problem persists if none of these solutions work consider performing a clean installation of your graphics driver for nvidia users visit their nvidia website for amd users go to the amd website download the latest driver for your pc uh, and uh, select custom installation check perform a clean installation and complete the installation restart your pc by try launching your game to improve game performance try running it on a dedicated graphics card by going to graphics settings in windows adding the game file and setting it to high performance Another option is to verify the game files. In Steam, right click the game, go to the properties, select the install files, files tab and click verify integrity of game files. If you still uh, encounter any kind of issues, so then you need to try adjusting the DX version. In Steam, right click the game, go to properties and uh, in the launch options, enter dash DX11. Uh, check the game works or not if it doesn't then you can try dash gx12 you may also need to install the visual c++ um, files check the link in the description you can find my website where i provide these visual packs so you can download 
it from here and install the uh, DirectX and Visual C++ files in your PC. So guys, if you're still facing uh, any kind of issue, then you need to increase your virtual memory. Uh, so go to View Advanced System Settings in Windows. Click on Settings in the Performance section. Go to Advanced tab and under Virtual Memory, adjust the paging file size for the drive where the game is installed. Set the initial size to 1.5 times your total RAM and the maximum size to 3 times your total RAM. Then simply restart your PC and check your game. As a last resort, uninstall the game and reinstall it on a different drive. Like if the game was installed on an external drive, then you need to uh, install it in your SSD drive. So guys, that's it for today and uh, I hope this video helps for you and uh, if you are new on the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. We will meet in the next one and until then, peace out.